Okay. Episode 2 of the Custom Night Challenges. The Custom Night that I'm about to do today was suggested by Midnight Wolfie, and he basically asked me to have Lux on Max. He wanted, he wanted Freddy on 13. And he wanted Kitty on 16. So far this looks like a pretty balanced night. Thank god he, did, he didn't want Coley or Bonnie active. Those two give me, those two scare me to death. And no, their jump scares are not scary at all, it's, it's how fast they both run. But this is basically like an extension to my Super Smoke Bros video. Basically this is the strategy that I always follow. Don't check any other cameras other than mine unless I really need to check the other cameras. I legit have no idea where Kitty is, but as long as she's asleep, that's all that matters. I cannot find Kitty anywhere. Oh, there's Kitty. Wait, doesn't she have to move to camera 1 before she can attack me? Well, then again, this is an updated version of the Return to Freddy's 4, which means... I'm... Oh! Shit! Okay, there we go. Yeah, between this version and the original version, Kitty was definitely buffed by having a shorter kill timer and by being a bit faster in the hallway, probably. Freddy's moving faster, though. that they block each other. Blockjot definitely has the longest move pattern in this game, which is why he's definitely the slowest. And that's the last of the water that I have. The only reason I like Kitty more than Coley is because she's not as much of a threat. Although Coley has a more creative design here. And I think Sally might be a Freddy recolor, just more advanced. Basically, Sally is just a gender swapped version of Freddy Fazbear. But then again, this is the current year, so people can do whatever they please. Even more so, we have... Th then again, uh, Wolfie does some um, uh, enemies that are not as much of a threat. Well, Freddy was definitely nerfed in this version because in the original, he would sometimes kill you even if you pulled a lever on time. 
So yeah, he kind of was a, a menacing. But thank God, um, some people made their own versions of this game, and I'm playing the updated version of this game, which I finished in the span of a day. Well, I didn't finish all of it in one day. It took many days to finish it because I didn't find out of, because I didn't find out that it was um, a seventh night. And no, custom night does not count as a seventh night. There was actually a seventh night that I uh, did play through. I said in the last video that I beat it in during a Discord call with a few friends. And yeah. And this is my first time doing. Well, not my first time doing a commentary alone, but it's much better when I'm with friends because hey, I get to scream at them from time to time. The only one that I would really say is, a, is much of a threat here is Kitty. Well, during this night, she's the, the only one that's really threatening because her kill timer is shorter than Freddy or Lockjaw's, and basically she requires me to hit the locker precisely, and that's sometimes hard to do. This is already a hard game, but hey, gotta add some position in. Gotta love that position. I think Delta appears more if only like a few enemies are active and not all of them. But anyway, there are six enemies. This game really isn't that challenging. But anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Suggest more of them in the suggest more challenges of Custom Night in the comments, and I'll actually do those. So yeah, farewell, everybody.